If you're moving from your skandasana into a low crescent lunge, more than likely you're going to the other side. That's the, your skandasana is really like a vehicle for moving around on your mat. And this comes into play a lot with, you know, the uh, mandalas. So it gives you a little bit of freedom of movement, you know, just like a sahaja in the arms. Yeah, like you're able to take in the whole landscape where it's not just, it's like going from, uh, if you look at the way art used to be during the hieroglyphics, everything was like one, is it one dimensional? Yeah. Yes, yes. And then, and then during the Renaissance, everything became two-dimensional, and then art became three-dimensional. It's moving through those steps in the same way, and it really is an evolution in consciousness and co collective consciousness. But mandalas need to be worked up too.